we're going to look at another strategy called multiplying up. And this is where students use easy multiplication facts to multiply up to reach the dividend. Let's look at the problem 362 divided by 5. And the goal is to multiply easy multiplication facts to help me reach the dividend. So I'm going to start with 5 times 20. which gives me 100. I'm then going to do 5 times 20 again, which gives me another 100. I now have 200 out of the 362 of the dividend, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply one more time, 5 times 20, which gives me another 100. I am now sitting at 300, so then I know that 5 times 6 equals 30 and that gets me to 330 so another 5 times 6 which give me another 30 so now I know that 5 times 72 equals 360 and I need two more to make my dividend, so equals 362. So 362 divided by 5 is equal to 72 with a remainder of 2. Now let's look at the problem 209. divided by 9. Remember the goal is to use the divisor and multiply it by easy multiplication facts to help you reach 209. So I know that 9 times 10 equals 90 and I'm going to do another 9 times 10 which is 90 which now I have 180 and so I need about 27 more, and I know that 9 times 3 equals 27. So now I take the, the factors I multiplied 9 by, and I now know that 9 times 23 equals 207. But I need 2 more to reach my dividend. So 207 plus 2 is 209. So three, 209 divided by 9 is equal to 23 with a remainder of 2. Let's look at another problem and let's look at 192 divided by 6. I need to get as close to 192 by using easy multiplication facts multiplied by the divisor of 6. So I'm going to start with 6 times 20, which gives me 120. Then I'm going to do 6 times 10, which gives me 60. And now I have 180 out of the 192. So I need 12 more, and I know that 6 times 2 is equal to 12. So now I take my factors I multiplied 6 by add them together, and so I now have 6 times 32 equals 192. So 192 divided by 6 is equal to 32.